for you, a Stanford's Grand Fisher finished third, and then 5,000. Talk to me about the last 50 meters, everyone's pushing, and you see uh, your teammate running first, and you make sure you, the Stanford boys go finish, you know, two of the top three. Yeah. Take me through that last 50 meters. What was the thought process? What was, how did it play out in your head? Yeah. Um, I thought I was in a good spot coming into uh, 200 meters to go. Um, I think Sean kind of got a jump on the field right there and never really let it up. So um, I think the last 50 meters was just kind of trying to close out a race. But I think I think where I could have done a little better job was around 200 meters to go, just kind of getting around one one other guy and getting up on Sean. Um, I mean, he's my teammate, and I want the best thing for him. But I think, personally, I would have had a little bit better of a finish if I was in a better spot to kind of attack over the last 100. Um, but seeing Sean up there, I mean, that's that's incredible to see. Sean has been, you know, my biggest role model at Stanford. He's been two years older than me always, and um, he's had his ups and he's had his downs. And to see him go through all of that and come out now in his final race at Stanford with the win is, I mean, I'm so happy for him. At, at the finish line, I was just so excited. And, um, you know, to get, it, it would have been nicer to go one, two, of course. Um, I think I could have executed the last 200 a little better and, and made that happen, but um, I'm, I'm pretty happy with how, how things went, and I'm so excited for Sean. I mean, yeah, I, I mean, I've seen firsthand everything he's done with staying late at practice to do his PT and coming back from surgeries and a lot of doctors saying that he was never going to be the same runner that he was, and, um, you know, this is a guy that has been so influential in, in my Stanford career so far. It's, it's tough to see him go after this year, but you know, this is the best way to go out for him, so I'm really excited. What's the biggest takeaway that you get from him having been around this already? Yeah, um, I mean, I think Sean embodies everything that that I would hope our team becomes uh, when I leave. Um, he's had such a strong influence ever since he came in as a freshman, and um, he's made sure that our team is, is the, the group of guys that compete and do what they do at every single meet and Sean shows up every single day of practice and whether he's coming back from an injury or, or he's you know where he is now ready to, to you know go into USA's in a few weeks and compete um, you know he just goes in with a positive attitude uplifts his teammates and you know he's the, the best teammate I've ever had so um, I mean a lot of what I've done is credit to Sean, so I'm, I'm really happy. Is there a specific lesson or the biggest lesson you, you learned from him or taken away from no these teammates? Yeah, um, <laughs> I mean, Good race. Yeah, you too, man. Uh, you just got to persevere. I mean, when things were dark, Sean has had so many injuries. He's had stuff with his foot, with his back, you know, with his Achilles and um, surgeries and injections and all these things that could weigh you down and, you know, make you think, you know, maybe running isn't for me, or maybe I'll never be as good as I was, or, you know, Sean was in the same class as, uh, as Ed Cheserick, and, you know, that's, that's a tough position to be in. He got a few seconds in there, and that can be really frustrating, but he kept his head up, and, you know, obviously it paid off. He's, he's in an excellent spot right now, and, um, you know, he's going to continue his career uh, as a runner, and um, I think the biggest lesson is just that you have to believe in yourself, and, um, Sean has believed in himself more than anyone I've ever known and he believes in his teammates too and the effect that he's had on me is something that I hope to have the same effect on, on my teammates. Um, so he's left the program in such a better place than where it was five years ago so um, I'm hoping to just carry on what he's started so um, yeah he's the biggest influence that I've had at Stanford, and you know, I, I thank him a lot for that. Yeah. Yeah. That, that move that he made at 700, did you know that was coming? Did you guys talk tactics, I mean, or working together at all before the race? Yeah, um, I knew if the race was slow, Sean was going to take it anywhere, anywhere from a mile out to 400 out. So um, he's a strong guy, so I, I knew when he went that I needed to get up near the front. Um, I think I could have done a better job with 200 to go just being right on him because, I mean, I know how Sean can accelerate and um, I should have known a little better than to be one guy behind at that point. Yeah. Um, and because once Sean got his gap, he never let that up. So um, I think I could have done a better job there, but the move, the move from Sean was pretty expected. And, 
you know, when Sean goes to the front, I mean, I practice every day with him. You gotta, you gotta respect it. So, yeah. Um, yeah, I'm really excited for him. Yeah, looking yeah. at this year, I mean, you've been close in a couple NCAA finals, but I know you know you had the title loss here, no title this year. Are you, I guess, are you pleased with the, how this year has gone? Do you feel like you've moved forward, or I guess, how would you grade, you know, your, this this academic year? Yeah, um, not super pleased. Um, you know, on overall, like, I think I think last year winning. The title was one of the worst things that could happen to me personally just because I think I came into this year just thinking I had it figured out and I, I certainly didn't. Um, I think for a little while I just kind of thought things were going to be easy just because things were clicking last year and I think that attitude really kind of kind of came back to haunt me um, and I didn't really start to correct it until going into outdoor track and at that point I think I had a really good string of races and stuff and my outdoor season has been uh, the one I've been most proud of this year um, but you know you can't slack off for two seasons and think you have it figured out and expect things to work out so um, I think I could have done a lot better job this year yeah. um, so I'm looking to correct a lot of things over the summer and my season isn't over yet I'm technically not qualified for USA's but hopefully they'll fill the field and I'll get in so yeah. um, I think I have some good momentum right now um, but if I had to grade the whole year, um, you know, not not satisfied. Was there a moment off the, like was there a specific moment that prompted that attitude change? Yeah, um, after NCA's indoor, I sat down with Coach Milt, and you know, we had a pretty honest conversation, um, and he asked me some questions that I've never been asked before, and um, I think it just made me really think about what I was doing and and why I was even on the team and why I was still running and um, it really made me realize where my priorities were and if I wanted to continue to run which I do um, I needed to have a little bit of priority shift and a little bit of a mentality shift so um, it was a conversation with my coach and you know I thank him for that I, I think a lot of times people kind of just tell me that everything's good because I've had success in the past but um, I really appreciated that conversation because you know, he was he was real with me and let me know exactly how things were going and didn't sugarcoat it. So I think that was exactly what I needed and um, happy it happened. Unfortunately, I didn't have the first two seasons this year that I'd hoped, but um, I think I'm in a much better place now uh, just because, you know, my mentality has shifted significantly. What questions yeah. did he ask you? Just to summarize, just do you want to do this? Um, I think I got kind of caught up with last year as I mentioned and um, was thinking I could just ride the wave of that and that's not how it works it doesn't get easier each year it gets harder mm -hmm. um, and I think the question was just where are your priorities and and do you want to do this and I've never been asked that before so um, it was I think it was about time I asked myself that too yeah and um, now that I know the answer it's a lot easier to to train and compete and go day-to-day -day life with uh, just like a, a running attitude and uh, an attitude that my pri priority is running so yeah. yeah if running wasn't the priority what was it what were the things that were sort of creeping in uh, school was creeping in a little bit I think you know I I'm not making an excuse here but um, Stanford, Stanford is know? a difficult yeah. place to to go to school so yeah um, I think uh I think it, it's not it's not like a, a shift in that I don't care about school anymore or that you know I was 100% school and no running. I think it's just a mentality shift that you know there are times where I can't stay up doing work and just kind of accept that I need my sleep and uh, maybe a couple points here or there in school will will have to to not be sacrificed but just kind of be okay with that um, and. It's it's a tough decision to make because you know school is important, running's important. It's just trying to find the balance, and I think my balance was a little a little shifted from where I wanted it to be. So it's it's still a balance, but um, yeah, I think I think the it's it's just a better better balance. Yeah, yeah. Right, I've said balance it. a lot, but yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, that's what it is. Yeah, yeah. appreciate it, Grant. Thank, Thank you. you. Yeah. Um, and you mentioned that you wanted to make some corrections over the summer. Um, particularly, what are you going to focus on working on? Yeah. Um, Last summer, I think, I just thought I had it figured out. Um, I had a good track season. I was riding the wave, and 
I think I just had the mentality that things were going to click and it was going to be easy. And um, I kind of forgot what it took to have the track season that I had last year. And um, I think the mentality shift is just going to be that I have to stay hungry. I think last year I had success and, you know, I kind of let that get the better of me, I think. And uh, over the summer, I think I never really had the, the attack mode and mentality. It was just kind of, you know, put in the work and everything will come together in the end. And um, I think this summer, I think I'll have a lot more of a, a dedicated mindset, just that, you know, it's not easy and it's not just show up every day and it'll work out in the end. It's, you know, do everything you can each day and it'll compound and hopefully you'll have the results in the end. But um, I think it's just a, a mentality and an attitude change of being hungry. Yeah. Got it. Congratulations on a good season. Thanks.